Uh, my name is Paul Bruce. I have a small little thing called Grogistics, but that's not the point. The point is, uh, I've got Corey here. We're, uh, he's, he's in his man cave. I'm in my man cave in a bar, uh, which is where you will normally find me. Um, and, uh, and we're talking about DevOps Days Boston 2017, which happened last Monday and last Tuesday. And that was the highlight of the rest of my week. And, uh, and so Corey, uh, I've got Corey here. We're going to talk a little bit about what was good, what was, what maybe could have been different. And, uh, hopefully we can come out with a few takeaways so that next year you're prompted to come. So Corey, hi Corey. Uh, tell us a quick little bit about yourself. Sure. Uh, I vacillate between consulting on various projects and being gainfully unemployed. But what people tend to know me for these days is my newsletter. Last week in the AWS, where yes. I make fun of Amazon every week. And to their good graces, they have neither sued nor murdered me in the night. So, mm -hmm. so far, so good. Let's, uh, let's get into it. So I, I was able to attend most of the sessions on day one. What was one really great highlight for you? Good question. I really like Chloe Condon's approach on how she had taken a lot of her, and it wasn't the real thrust of her talk, but she went very deep into the, the fact that she had a theater and stage background and came to be a developer advocate and a developer uh, somewhat later in her career. She was in her, the second half of her 20s when she approached this. And it was nice watching people come to tech from a more liberal arts style background. That's something we don't tend to see nearly as much. Um, one of the things I was struck with was how well she blended in the demos. So she was able to, she was demoing CodeFresh stuff, but at the same time, it didn't feel too much like a demo. Um, it was just kind of, this is how we do it, right? I've been in the speaking slots a lot, and what I know is that the number one most important thing to do when you're coming to a conference is figure out what value you can provide that conversation, whatever's going on right then and there. I think what, what I liked the most about the conference was it seemed like there was such a high alignment between what people were looking for or what types of conversation needed to be had at the moment versus um, what, we, what was going on. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, I think we're starting to see the thin end of a wedge in that originally the idea of having developers and operations talking together was transformative. But in recent months, and this was showcased in Boston, you're starting to see conversations about how do the technical groups work with the business. Uh, there was a great open spaces session on how to communicate effectively with the C-suite, both internally and externally. Yep. It's, there's starting to be a pervasive realization in technology that there has to be business value behind the choices you make and the things that you work on, or you wind up in a place where it just doesn't get anywhere. It's sitting there and working on technology for the sake of technology is no longer sufficient. So watching people start to have these conversations was really exciting for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so one thing that I had the opportunity to do is be part of a lot of different open spaces. And this is something that the DevOps Days uh, conferences as a whole, they really um, foster this really uh, interesting sort of way to do sort of micro un, un workshops. And so people get together in separate groups. They have, uh, you know, a pad, a huge white pad, and they write down essentially what does the group want to talk about within the scope and the context of, let's say, leadership in DevOps or, you know, hiring practices or Kubernetes, you know, management uh, at scale and stuff like this. So it was really great to attend this conference. It was well worth not only the ticket, but the time. Um, and I would have sent, if I had a team, I would have sent them all there. Yeah. Yeah, it's what was I think what you're talking about is I, I think a slow realization we're seeing throughout the entire space. Uh, the day two keynote uh, by Yulon Lin talking mm -hmm. about the curse of common knowledge and starting to socialize ideas past the groups in which they tend to live. Mm -hmm. this, this this tends to be a recurring theme that we're starting to see over and over again at different DevOps days events. The open spaces and talks are starting to revolve around this. It's no longer just about speaking between development and operations. We're, much, we're now getting to a much more inclusive discussion. And that's why we're starting to see the term DevOps being having things like SEC and biz and QA thrown into it. Yeah. But it's really turning into a way of doing business and a way of communicating effectively with people. Mm -hmm. It's starting to eat the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, Corey, if there's, uh, if there's one last thing that you would want people to know in 2018, uh, because they are totally coming back to Boston, for DevOps Days 2018. Um, 
what would you what would you have them uh, know? I I would say that it's and I think the DevOps Days conferences as a whole do a lot better job of this than a lot of others. Mm -hmm. But it's easy for companies to get up and talk about the thing that they did that they're very proud of, and there's amazing solution they've come up with that everyone should adopt. And it's easy to look at to go to a talk like that and see. There's this mythical city on a hill that does everything right. My company is garbage by comparison. Whereas, in practice, everyone's company is a burning tire fire when it comes down to infrastructure. It always tends to fall into the same trap of just because someone gets on stage and says they're doing this thing that's right, there's no company in the world that doesn't have problems in their production environments. Yeah. Everyone has struggles, everyone has challenges, and everyone wants to be better than they are. The hard part is getting there. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, so the lesson I think to take in this all is you're not alone. <laughs> Seriously. So um, thank you so much for your time. And I think, you know, we'll publish this, but also um, it's been great to uh, have you here. And also, uh, if you haven't already, uh, your website is lastweekinaws.com. Is that right? Yes, yes it is. Awesome, awesome. So once again, Blessings, and uh, we will uh, definitely continue on this conversation around what is DevOps and how to do it. <laughs> Cheers, Corey. Thank Look you. Look forward to it. Thank awesome. you, Paul. Yeah.